Fork and Fuzz, Short and Tall, by Jor Dory Chaconas, illustrated by Lisa McKee. Chapter 1. Cork was a short muskrat. He ate cattails and roots. Fuzz was a tall possum. He ate berries and seeds and pancakes. Pancakes, hamburger buns, apple peels, candy wrappers, worms, and bat black beetles. One short muskrat, one tall possum, two best friends. One day, Cork looked up at Fuzz's head. Something is not right, Cork said. What is not right? Fuzz asked. I am older than you, Cork said, but you are taller than me. Are you standing in a hole? Fuzz asked. Cork looked down. I am not standing in a hole. You are taller than me. Does it matter that I am taller than you? Fuzz asked. I am older, Cork said. I need to be taller. It is a rule. I am sorry, Fuzz said. I did not mean to break a rule. You think you can be shorter? Cork asked. Fuzz's tail dropped into the dirt. I do not know how to be shorter, he said. Think, 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 Cork said. We will think about how to make you shorter. Lunch, 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 Fuzz said. I will think about eating lunch. He picked up a beetle. He opened his mouth wide. Do not eat that beetle, Cork yelled. He grabbed Fuzz's snout. If you stop eating, you will stop growing. Then you will not be taller than me. Amma, um, amma, um, amma. Um. Fuzz tried to speak. Cork let go of Fuzz's snout. Stop eating, Fuzz shouted at me. Just for a little while, Cork said, How long is a little while, Fuzz? Fuzz looked worried. Not that long, Cork said. About seven days. Fuzz grown. Chapter 2. While we are waiting for you not to grow, Cork said, Can you walk on your knees? That will make you shorter. Fuzz groaned again. Cork walked along the path on his feet. Fuzz walked along the, the path on his knees. Ouch! Fuzz said. What is the matter? Cork asked. My knee stepped on the stick, Fuzz said. They took three more steps. Fuzz yelled again. Ouch! Ouch! What's the matter now? Cork said. My knee stepped on a nut. They took three more steps. Fuzz yelled again. Ouch! 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 What did your knee step on now? Cork asked. Cork asked. This time it is not my knee that hurts, Fuzz said. This time it is my stomach that hurts it's because it is empty. Cork sighed. This is not go going to work. I cannot be shorter, Fuzz said, but maybe we can make you taller. Oh yes, said Cork. We can make me taller. Possums eat good food, Fuzz said. Maybe you need to eat like a possum. Then you will grow like a possum. What did you eat for breakfast? Cork asked. I ate three beetles. I ate four worms. I ate two pancakes. I hope there are some pancakes left, Cork said. Nope, said Fuzz. But here is a nice fat worm. Ugh, said Cork. Do I have to eat it? Do you want to grow? Fuzz asked. Yes, said Cork. He closed his eyes. He opened his mouth. Chapter 3. I cannot eat this worm, Cork said. Maybe possums do something else to make them tall. Fuzz popped the worm into his own mouth. We hang from tr tree branches, he said. Cork jumped up and down. I can hang from a branch, he said. I can stretch. We hang by our tails, Fuzz said. Cork looked at his short tail. My tail cannot do that. You can hang by your paws, Fuzz said. 
Quark jumped up and down again. Yes, he said, I can hang by my paws. Quark stood on Fuzz's back. He grabbed a branch in the nut tree. Fuzz moved away. Quark's feet swung in the air. Do I have to hang here long? Quark asked. Not long, Fuzz said. About seven days. Quark wiggled. I have a problem. What kind of problem? Fuzz asked. A seat puff blew up my nose, Quark said. Now I have an itch. Scratch it, said Fuzz. If I scratch it, I will fall, Quark said. Can you wait? Fuzz asked. No, Quark said. I cannot wait. It is a bad itch. Can you sneeze it out? Fuzz asked. ka Quark sneezed. ka I cannot sneeze it out. I will help, Fuzz said. He picked up a long stick. Chapter 4 What are you doing with that stick? Quark asked. I will scratch the itch for you, Fuzz said. You will poke me in the eye, Quark said. I will be careful, Fuzz said. The stick did not poke Quark in the eye. It poked Quark in the belly. Ouch! Quark yelled. Then he fell on Fuzz. Oof! The seed puff blew, a, blew out of Fuzz Cork's nose. Oof! The air blew out of Fuzz's belly. I am sorry I fell on you, Cork said. I am sorry you can't have not gotten taller, Fuzz said, or lighter. Cork helped Fuzz to his feet. Then he shook Fuzz's paw. It was nice being best friends, Quark said. But we are best friends, Fuzz said. No, said Quark, we are too different. I am older than you. You are taller than me. There is no way to change that. Goodbye, Fuzz. Quark walked toward his home in the pond. Fuzz looked after him. He sniffed. Goodbye, Quark, he whispered. A tear slipped out of his eye and landed on a nut. Fuzz picked up the nut. Then he be picked up another nut. He jumped up and ran after Cork. Cork, he yelled, wait. When Fuzz reached Cork, he held out the two nuts. See these nuts, Fuzz said. Are they the same? No, Cork said. One is big and wet. One is little and dry. They are different, Fuzz said, but they are still nuts. Then Fuzz pulled Cork to the edge of the pond. They looked at, at themselves in the water. See these friends? Fuzz asked. Are they the same? No, Cork said. One is short, one is tall. They are different, Fuzz said, but they are still friends. Just like two nuts, Cork asked. One little and one big? Just like two nuts, Fuzz said. Two best friends, short and tall together. The end.